Hello, I am Sergeant First Class Kenneth Rose. Welcome to Shooter's Corner. Welcome back to Shooter's Corner. Today we're going to talk about minute of angle and common sights and optics you're going to see. First, what is a minute of angle and why is it important? Well, to keep it very simple, a minute of angle is an angular relation in regards to sights. It allows us to speak a common language and adjust all army optics. The simplest way we can put it is that one inch at 100 is one MOA. At 200, it's two inches. At 300, it's three inches. Now that we have a basic understanding of minute of angle, let's talk about the most common sights and optics you're gonna see in the army and the adjustments for each one. First, on the M4, the backup iron sight. The front sight, every click will adjust you one and three quarter minute of angle. Pay attention on the sight as it provides you an arrow to show which way is up. Realize that all movements on any army optic move bullet impact. The rear sight. The backup iron sight is adjusted windage wise in three quarter minute of angle. It also has a ballistic calibrated sight on it corresponding to the desired distance. Remember, when zeroing the M4, leave it set on 300. The hatch mark just above 300 is for when zeroing an M16. Next, the M68 CCO. It's a red dot sight, making it pretty suitable for close range engagements. However, when going further, it's not much better than iron sights. It has a simple on off switch, windage and elevation adjustments. The adjustments on this site are graduated in half minute. Remember, if I zero at 25 meters to actually confirm at distance, in this case, 300 meters. Next, the ACOG. It's a four power optic, allowing magnification. This allows you to see threats at further distances and get positive identification of them. It provides a ballistically calibrated reticle. Another point of note is that this reticle has some basic ranging capabilities. The width of each stadia line correspond to an E-type target at the given distance. The adjustments on this optic are half MOA. Now there's one caveat to that. If you have the external knobs and you're able to adjust them with your thumbs, those are half minute. Some of the older versions require a screwdriver and they have an inset hatch. Those are set in one third minute adjustments. Let's talk about minute of angle what it is, and why it's important to us as shooters. First off, a minute of angle is nothing more than a unit of angular measurement that allows us to adjust sights. In layman's terms, one MOA is one inch at 100 yards. At 200, it's two inches, and so on. If I was at 1,200 yards, one MOA would be 12 inches. Understanding this allows us to adjust sights, hold for movers, and adjust for wind. This was Shooter's Corner. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.